Ho, 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 everyone. Welcome to the Joking Dolphin Gaming Pod. I'm Mark, and as always, I'm joined by Matthew. Jolly hello. Ah, Nathan. Slightly less jolly hello. No, it's Why? more jolly. It's all good. It's Christmas. Yeah, but it's the last pod of the year, so I'm upset. Yeah, but we've got new possibilities of the new year. That's true. Yeah. yeah that's all true. the things we've got to look forward to. And it's been a great year. Yeah, that's for actually. Games. Looking forward to Christmas? I am. There's only one game that I've asked yeah. for for Christmas. And I hope I get it, so. Only one. Honestly. What if you don't? Then I'll just buy it myself because I'm an adult. <laughs> there you go. I can do <laughs> that <laughs> now. You can do what you want now. Right. Because it's Christmas, tradition around here that we have the Christmas cracker joke. Which right. Christmas carol is about an animal with three legs? I was I thinking of Rudolph, but he's got four legs. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Little Wonka. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's shocking. It's shockingly <clears throat> good. Should we, should we have a game? Yeah, go on then. You know, it's Christmas time, time for games. Yeah. So, Google released their top searches for gaming this past year. Now, I've got 10 games. I want you to tell me what the top 10 search games for this past year were. But, a caveat to this, three of these you're probably going to really struggle with. But I say that. You say that but, every time. Well, we'll try for seven <clears> and then see how we get on. Yep. Well, <laughs> you, you may you may surprise me and get it. But right. Fire okay. away. What do you think were the top 10 search games this past year on Google? Fortnite. No. Fortnite was not on it. Right. GCA six. No. It wasn't. I'm not I'm not very good at this. Matt, you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say you're just gonna take it up. Um let's go for The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. No. Ooh. Baldur's <clears> Gate <throat> three. Uh correct, that is number six. Okay, right. Six run and roll. That. Okay. Genshin Impact? No. Wow. I'd say it, it's probably not the uh the highest rated games you might think. Hogwarts think... Legacy. Correct. That is number one. Right. That was God. number one. At least yeah. it won something. Wow. <laughs> it was the top search game of twenty. Yeah, I don't know if that should be some of their wins, but Which is interesting considering it released earlier in the year, didn't it? Yeah. So for it to maintain right, so the top searched game. Yeah. The most searched games probably the ones that come with a lot of controversy with them. So uh, I don't know about that. Oh, it must be fun. I'll give a clue. Um, two of them are a bit obscure in terms of they're not mainstream like console games. I think mobile, okay, so. that kind of thing. Mobile. Poke- Pokemon Go? Uh, no. No, Pokemon Go wasn't. Honkai Star Rail? No. Oh. I'm beginning to think you're never going to get any of these. No, we will. We will. Okay. One of them was one, a game you all played and liked, Nathan. What did you like this past year? I've already said Hogwarts Legacy. No, nope, something else. <laughs> uh, one might not be actually connected to the actual game, but connected to something else relating to it, maybe. Ooh, I'm oh, even more bit... confused now. Yeah, this is a bit tricky. <laughs> right. Would you say there's any well, it, became, like it, became in the, it became in the co- public conscious because of another thing, as opposed to the actual game. I can't give you a bigger clue than that. Is it Martha is Dead? No. I thought that was last surprised. year. Mm. Something that was... Late. Oh, um, Atomic Heart. Correct, that's number nine. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, what about Dota 2? No. League of Call, Legends? Call of Duty? Nope. So let's note to both then. What are these kids searching for? I mean, it's not just kids, obviously, but what are these kids searching for? Oh, uh, <laughs> Roblox? No. Ooh. Minecraft? <laughs> this is fascinating. No. It's not fascinating, it's frustrating. <laughs> Marvel Spider-Man 2? No. Is any of these mainstream? <laughs> is it, there is a big game on there you've not said. EA Sports FC 24? No. No. FIFA th- 23? No. Street Fighter 6? Big game. Didn't do well at the Game Awards. There's quite a few of them. Um, Starfield. Big... Correct. That's number five. What about Starfield? Maybe that's why. <laughs> I'm really struggling. Um, Mario. Just generic Mario. Um, Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel like I might have to push that putty out in misery. Yeah, I think you might have to. I think you might have to. Yeah. Number 10 is Sons of the Forest. Oh. Number 9, Atomic Heart, which you got. Yep. Number 8, 
Diablo 4. Mm. Oh, I forgot that one. Number seven, Suica Game. Don't also know what known, that is. Yeah, also known as Watermelon Game. It's a Japanese puzzle game. Hmm. Okay. Uh, number six, Baldur's Gate, you got. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, sorry. Uh, number five, Starfield, you got. Number four, this is a very interesting one. Battlegrounds Mobile India. So it's specifically, Fair enough. specifically the, <laughs> the PUBG in, in mobile India. version in India. Yeah, I would never have got that. Number three was Connections, which is a daily puzzle game from the New York Times. Oh, I yeah. think I might have heard about it. Number two. Any guess was number two? Come on, it's, it probably made the news for being not the, not the game, but something related to it. That was big this year. It's a big oh, game. Um, I feel like it's... Come on. You know, is it, is it is it is it something you know that it. like it was meant to be a game, but then it's no, turned no, out to be no, no 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 it was a game, but this year it wasn't made popular by a game. The Last of Us. Correct. That's number ten. <laughs> Why are people? So... <laughs> I assume they were searching for the TV show. Again, but yeah, controversy. Yeah, a lot of big games not on there for some reason. Yeah, it's strange. Very strange indeed. Speaking of The Last of Us. Naughty Dog have given an update on the much-anticipated Last of Us Online, and they posted this following on the interweb. We realise many of you have been anticipating news around the project that we've been calling The Last of Us Online. There's no easy way to say this. We've made an incredibly difficult decision to stop development on that game. We know this news will be tough for many, especially our dedicated The Last of Us Factions community, who have been following our multiplayer ambitions ardently. We're equally crushed at the studio as we were looking forward to putting it in your hands. We wanted to share with you some background of how we came to this decision. Uh, the multiplayer team has been in pre-production for this game since we were working on Last of Us Part 2, crafted an experience we thought was unique and had tremendous potential. As the multiplayer team uh, iterated on the concept for The Last of Us Online during this time, their vision crystallised, the gameplay got more refined and satisfied, and we were enthusiastic about the direction in which we were headed. In ramping up to full production, the massive scope of our ambition became clear. To release and support The Last of Us Online, we'd have to put all our studio resources behind supporting post launch content for years to come, severely impacting development on future single-player games. So we had two paths in front of us. Become solely a live-service game studio, or continue to focus on single-player narrative games that have defined Naughty Dog's heritage. Hmm. Who needs heritage where you got the money rolling in? They should have pivoted. I'm joking. Um, what's your thoughts on this? I can't say I was particularly excited about this thing. Be honest. If, I would have if, played it, but... Yeah, I mean, for me, if this is what they feel they need to do in order to give, keep giving us what we want, the great single-player games that they do produce, then I trust them to do that. Yeah, that's what we want, surely. There's enough live service games out there and companies doing live service. Life? Live service? Yeah. I suppose it took them this long to make this decision. I mean, yeah. Up, well, as they were developing the last of part two, and that was... What, three years ago? So they put a lot of time into it. Well, more than that, isn't it? Because it was being developed sort of alongside the game. So I mm. think it's I think it's been developed for like four years. Yeah. I think I'm I'm probably a tad disappointed, but more more in terms of could could they not have potentially have just scaled back the live service part of it and just been like, here's the multiplayer mode. It's a risky thing to we'll do. Up, it? We'll update it when we can, but at least it's sort of out there and people can enjoy it. I was saying it's risky. And obviously going down a live service route, you do have to put years of um, support and development behind it. But it's just... Mm, it seems strange. I thought Naughty Dog was a pretty big studio at this point before they'd be able to sort of split resources. But it, maybe this this is the... Well, the thing is, we don't know what's in production now. True, we don't. There could be two, could be two um, projects in production. I mean, the thing is, the development cycle, be. cycle of a game now is long enough as it is. Like, no, 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 let, alone having a, yeah. uh, let alone having a live service game going along with it as well. Yeah. Uh, Naughty Dog aren't used to making live service stuff, so I can imagine there's a lot of obstacles to making your first one. You know, like what, what needs to be in development, um, what should be looked at in terms of sort of future post content as well. So... I mean, push comes to shove if I have to see an online mode of being sacrificed for more quality single-player content and games and stuff from Naughty Dog, then so be it. <laughs> yeah, please, definitely. I mean, let's be honest, the PlayStation's first party is bang it out with the single-player games. Let them do their thing. But it's not the only thing that died this past week. No, nope. it was coming. 
It's been coming for a long time. Was well, it Fall Guys? <laughs> <laughs> One day, Dave. One day. No, <sighs> on yeah. So on Tuesday this past week, uh, the Entertainment Software Association posted a graphic on Twitter saying the following: After more than two decades of E3. Each one bigger than the last. The time has come to say goodbye. Thanks for the memories. GGWP. Which is good game. Well played. I mean, it's we, we've known this for ages. That he was dead, but it is now official because they've said it themselves. There's no more speculation. No more will he, will he? Is it ever going to come back? It's over. It's consigned to history. E3 is dead. Just I'm sick of hearing about it. <laughs> So I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad to I'm kind of glad to that that is, it's official now. Yeah, that's a bit harsh. But I'll be but, honest, I don't think uh, I don't think Jeff's doing a really good job of trying to replace it. If I'm honest, well, uh, particularly with these game awards. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously we had a lot of gripes last week when we talked about the game awards and the format users and not really giving the developers that win much time to shine. But anyway, we talked about that then. I mean, I know E3 is summer game fest now. Yeah. Not the game awards, but you know, it feels the like same, the same issues kind of, same issues are happening between both. Yeah. Do you have a favorite E three member? Do you know what? Oh, was it E three? I'm trying to think if it was. The um, it was the announcement of the PlayStation. It pro- mm. it feels like it might have been E three, but basically, um, at this point, Sega had come on, and they were basically talking about all the technical specifications of the. Saturn, and they basically announced Shadow dropped the entire console and said you can get it from these retailers, including Toys R Us, mm. and it's there. You can buy it. And basically, doing that, they alienated a ton of like, other retailers, and it, that was kind of the start of the downfall for Sega at that point. But then PlayStation came in and said. They also did like lots of technical stuff, and then they basically said it's going to be two ninety nine, a hundred pounds less than the Saturn, and they just mic dropped, and everyone just went mental, just for the hundred pound cut. It was a good one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think, I think I've got, I think I've got a couple. I remember, I always, I always like going back to watching the PlayStation Three kind of reveal mm. event, just because of like how much awkwardness there was about it. Because I remember there was like there was one guy who was who was going on like trying to big up Ridge Race and like every time he said it there was like there was no like crowd response so he just kept on saying it louder so he was like Ridge Racer Ridge Racer, Ridge Racer. <laughs> like all right oh there's there's one other guy as well that's he was known for like he's just hyperness at like I think it was an Ubisoft conference I forgot which year it was but he, he looked like he had like maybe one too many Red Bulls, perhaps. He was, like, zipping about, and it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Can't forget all the, uh, all the Just Dance ones as well. <laughs> oh, classics, yeah. Yeah. I'll forget them. You know what, I was, lo- I was always looking forward to the Ubisoft one, because they were always, like, the most wacky stuff that would always happen at their, their presentation. Oh, can't, can't forget... Mr. Keanu Reeves as well coming out to the crowd. Your breath take it. Yep. <laughs> I'll always be uh I'll always be a classic. I mean for me, I'll always remember the uh the God of War reveal. That was a cracker. When he stepped out of the shadows and everyone just went mental. So Kratos. And then it just went into gameplay. And everyone just like lost their minds. That was really good. And apparently it took him about a year just to make that portion. Really? Yeah, right. to show off. Yeah. Good times, but it's over there. E3, RIP. Although we've said that so many times, but <laughs> it's done now. It's going to be like The Undertaker. <laughs> I promise it's just you. going to keep coming back. <laughs> I promise you this is the last time <laughs> we mention it. I bet you someone revives it. Uh, E4. <laughs> That's <laughs> after the TV Oh, TV, not, channel, oh, yeah. TV channel, yeah. TV channel. E5, we'll just keep going up the numbers. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, we've got some news over some uh, hacking going on again. Some leaked hacking. material. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah. I wish they would spend their time hacking, you know, 
proper stuff rather than game companies. <laughs> proper stuff. <laughs> proper I don't know. Stuff. I don't know. I don't want to say into a rebel just be like <laughs> the government, but anyway. <laughs> Um, so unfortunately the target this time around now has been uh, Insomniac so according to some stuff that has sort of come out apparently there's been some material on the upcoming Wolverine game although no real mention about about it really but interestingly enough a lot of I suppose post Spider-Man 2 leaks have kind of come out as regarding this hack, um, saying that uh, there's been some potential references in the material about a potential Spider-Man, Spider-Verse spin-off, mm. which could be interesting. Um, there's also a parent on Elite screenshot saying there was mentions of planned projects that would include Miles, uh, RCE, which I believe is Ratchet and Clank, uh, SM2, SM3, and other mentions as well about additional support for Spider Verse. So, a lot of hints towards maybe a Spider Verse game or trouble DLC. Hacks like, trouble with hacks like these is that people are going to get their hopes up there. Well, that's it, isn't it? I always hate stuff like this, like especially for. What happened with Capcom because it's essentially the same thing, it was just material points towards future projects that you know you start getting your hopes up and stuff. I'm like, oh, what could this be? What could that be? Oh, it's pointing to this year, I'd have to wait for this year, see what they're gonna say. And <sighs> it's just it gets more depressing every time it happens. <laughs> yeah, thing was that Capcom one that was massive though, weren't it? We had like the ne- next like what six to eight years roadmap, yeah. Everything. It was it was pretty big, yeah. I think this is probably slightly smaller, but it was um, it was from a ransomware hack. So I think it was reported that this group, um, which I don't have down on these notes, uh, were apparently looking for two million dollars, else everything gets released. As we always say on the show, and don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> so <sighs> just I just. Can can it stop next year, please? It's not gonna happen. If anything, it's gonna happen more. Yeah. I know, but like, why Insomniac? Well, I wouldn't care if it was Ubisoft, but <laughs> <laughs> why the good developers? <laughs> yeah, why the good ones? Target Activision. <laughs> well, I know about the next Call of Duty. <laughs> the next Call of Duty, yeah. That's all. We can all guess that. <laughs> yeah. Speak speak for yourself. That's mad news. <laughs> Do we want the latest Hideo Kojima news? What's he done now? Yeah, what is he Well, doing? Hideo Kojima took to Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, and he said the following. A24, which is a film studio and distributor, was born into this world about 10 years ago. Their presence is singular within the industry. They are like no other. The films they are delivering to the world are high quality and very innovative. I've been attracted to their creations, and they have even inspired my own work. Their innovative approach to storytelling aligns with what Kojima Productions has been doing for the last eight years. Now, we are making a Death Stranding movie together. There are a lot of game adaptation films out there, but what we are creating is not just a direct translation of the game. The intention is that our audience will not only be fans of the games, but our film will be for anyone who loves cinema. We are creating a Death Stranding universe that has never been seen before. Achievable only through the medium of film, it will be born. Duh, duh, duh. Now, have either you actually played this run? I played a bit of it. I've got to. You're trying to. I got to a, like a cut scene when. <laughs> yeah, That's it. I so, mean, well, yeah. Well, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. You got to um, a cut scene in a Hideo with, Kojima game. With like this Why baby that? thing. Uh, in this. Yes. And um, yeah, and that was pretty much it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've probably played about 45 minutes of it. To be honest, the. It, Norman Reedus kept falling over when he was trying to deliver this package, so I didn't really like it too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think for myself, I got a few hours in because I think I've got to the point where I've got to start rebuilding America one bridge at a time. So, yeah. Do you think, uh, do you think Mr. Norman will repraise his role in the film? I think he may have a cameo, I think. 
Then they'll do a cameo. Because it's, it, I think they're doing a completely new story in that universe. Oh, and whole new. Mm. St- oh, fair enough. That but, that makes sense. A life from do some original. Yeah. Rather than rehash the story. I just don't want Jeff Keeler to turn up. Oh, you know he is. <laughs> Come on, you know. He's gonna re- repraise his role uh, yeah. <laughs> in the game. He was one of those hologram figure bobs. Yeah. Now imagine if he's just the main character. Oh God! <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. They superimpose his face, and here's the baby. <laughs> that is no. stuff. Of no. Nightmares. <laughs> Please not. That's that's not. And then it, and then he's like whispering like summer games first. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No. Let's move on. <laughs> so PlayStation. Shall we do our PlayStation wrap-ups for the year? Yes, let's. Oh, go on then. Is it that time already? It is that time. Is it the most wonderful time? Exactly. It's the <laughs> most wonderful time of the year. All right, so uh, every year, PlayStation, they do this wrap-up thing where basically it's telling you about what you played over the year, how long you played it for, what looks like your favourite games, all that kind of shenanigans. Mm-hmm. So is everyone prepared? what they have i am i have yes so in 2023 how many games did you play matthew uh i played 66 games oh nathan i played 37 games oh i played 58 Ooh. so matt wins uh, it's, it's the the wrap-up top jumps isn't it yeah, yeah. that's it that was, uh, one nil for me so you win. what was uh what was everyone's first game of the year i quite I like bet. my first game oh god cool. <laughs> My first game was uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Cowabunga Collection. Oh, nice. Oh. Lovingly by the uh, Christmas jumper I am wearing. Oh, it it's came. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Christmas jumper. Nice. <laughs> and it's great. great. Good. Glad to hear. And I played that on the 1st of January. So the very first day of the year I was playing it. And you, Niffin? You'll never guess mine. <laughs> uh, FIFA 23. Yes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, mine might be a bit predictable as well. Uh, oh, maybe not. Uh, no, go on. It was Call of Duty. Oh, oh yeah. Forgot about that. Which which one was that? Uh, it would have been Modern Warfare 2 Modern at the time. Warfare. Right, so we get to the top five games we played over the year, and I have to say, I'm quite disappointed in my list. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not oh, happy oh, with mine. I'm, it's it's, 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 it's unusual mine. for me. Oh. Go on, then. Well, well, the top spot is used for me anyway. So, shall we shall we go down the fives and then the fours and then the threes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The threes yeah, yeah. Okay. So, right, my number five, with 39 hours spent, with 6% of our playtime ratio, it is Power Wash Simulator. Oh, cool. Nice. Which, I quite like that one. That's, that's fair enough. Very nice. So, mine is Yakuza Like a Dragon, and that's 3% of my playtime, and I played 30 hours of that. Respect it. Uh, so my number five, coming in at 64 hours, which is 6% of my playtime. And apparently I got 20 trophies from this. Uh, it's Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Infinite which I'm Warfare. actually a bit surprised for. Yeah. Wow. So I remember I, I, I got back into it, didn't I? I was like, I'm going through the zombies. I'm going to try and do all the Easter eggs. I didn't realise I'd played it for that long, though. Wow. 64 hours. Okay. Tip over to number fours then. My number four, which is interesting because I think this was my, it might have been my number one from the previous year. I can't remember. And with 44 hours spent and 7% of my playtime ratio, it's Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, hmm. cool. I don't remember playing that a lot of that this year, but it must have been, I guess it must have been early in the year. Must have. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm sure I played most of it, because I've definitely played more than 44 hours on it. So it must have been the previous year. Mm. Anyway, there you go. So mine is, I played 71 hours, got 32 trophies, 7% of my play time. And when this game came, came out, it took over my existence for about two weeks. Hogwarts Legacy. Hey. Hey. Love nice it. One. Right. My number four comes in at 81 hours for 8% of my total play time. I managed to get 17 trophies out of this game. It was Judgment. Yeah. So, quite glad to see one of these type of games on it. <laughs> so, number three. I feel we might be getting a bit of a theme here. So, with uh, 47 hours spent, 
an 8% playtime ratio. My number three is Yakuza Kiwami. <laughs> oh, you went through Kiwami? Yeah. Oh. I'm sure I, 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 I forgot. I think, yeah, I think you started going through them, didn't you? This one. It's me. Right. <laughs> so It is. My number three is EA Sports FC 24 with 122 hours, seven trophies and 13%. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, I think you've probably going to start being people on hours now. <laughs> so my number three, which clocked in at 91 hours for 9% of my total play time, coming in at 45 trophies, including one platinum, Horizon Forbidden West. Ah. Finally got through it this year. Very good. All right, so now we reach number twos. With 51 hours spent, 9% of playtime ratio, it's Yakuza Kiwami 2. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> wonder what number one will be. Well, we shall see. Mm. And my number two, this feels like a bit of a cheat though. Anyway. <laughs> okay, does it? So, it's oh. Fortnite, but only because I've probably p- played about 10 hours. Um, but the total playtime, in air quotes, is 137 hours. Zero trophies and 15% of Lisa's playtime, let's say. <laughs> Don't put that excuse in there, come on. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, it's always you probably like 14% or 1% for this. <laughs> uh, right, so my number two came in at 99 total hours for just the five trophies and 9% of my total game time it was FIFA 23. Do you know, I'm for sure a 99 of those was probably on clubs. <laughs> I thought you were going to roll it back into like FIFA 21 or something. <laughs> yeah, I've gone back to an old FIFA. All right. My number one Big game one. with 90 hours spent, 16% playtime ratio, FIFA 23. <laughs> <laughs> that's, no, I'm, that's, that's, I'm not happy with that one. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm really not. <laughs> and all that was clubs. Because I've never played any leagues. Hey, if you put, what was it, 90 hours? So I only put about 99. So at least none of my hours was playing something else of the club. Yeah. Probably dropping. Or Vault. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Forget so about Vault. Vault actually. <laughs> right, so my number one is FIFA 23. Hey. Ooh, with, oh, no surprises. This is my shoe in. If I don't win this one, then there's a bloody problem. <laughs> 404 hours, oh, 11 oh, trophies, 44% goodness. of that play ratio. Get in there. 400 hours. Wow. What is my life? <laughs> oh. That's like four, eight, 16 days over, well, probably 17 days playing it non stop. I, I love how you say that with pride. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, this is the only category I'm going to win if I win anything <laughs> in this wrap up. So that's why. Oh, no, you've won. You've won, you've definitely won. Good. <laughs> now, I'm a bit contentious about my number one, mainly because this is less of a game and more of an app that it has evolved into. Okay. So, I mean, that sounds, like, mysterious. So I'll go through it. So I've got 101 hours I've spent, I've got nine trophies, and 10% of my overall playtime ratio. It is Call of Duty. The the very first one. <laughs> you went back and, and played I the think, original. Yeah, I've just gone back and played the original. Now, I think this has combined my total game time between Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. So if they were actually yeah. to split them out, I'd probably think those come nowhere in my top five. So I'm a bit like, hmm... <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure I didn't actually end up playing Modern Warfare 2 that much compared to previous Call of Duty's, but Activision get Activision. Yeah, no, indeed. So. I, I'm going to be honest, I don't understand this next one. Your gaming style. What's, what is your gaming style, Nath? Mine is, well, I can't blame him. My gaming style is the GOAT. Greatest of all time. Um, you spent 58% of your game time on the field calling the shots and chalking up the wins. I don't believe this. 
<laughs> Mine's pretty apt for me. Uh, my gaming style is Gunslinger. Ooh. You spend 21% of your game time lining up your shots and making them count. Well, we got a clash here, because there can be only one. Because I am too the GOAT. And oh. saying that, apparently I only spent 22% of the game time. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> not a GOAT. <laughs> So what, I got the like, least what, percentage what, of... What is the criteria of this? I don't understand. What is this basically? I, I have no idea. What? I don't know. I know. If we go off Nathan's, then it's playing Fortnite a lot. <laughs> have you been playing Fortnite, Mark? <laughs> no. Funnily enough. <laughs> ah. Fair enough. <laughs> but then we got this uh, first new thing, didn't we, where we got the uh, Game of the Month. Oh, yeah. I like this. Shall we quickly run through these, then? Yeah, go right. on, then. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, January for me. Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, for me, it was Horizon Forbidden West. Mine was FIFA 23. <laughs> of Febru- February for me was Bug Snacks. Oh, interesting. I quite like that one. Uh, February for me was Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Mine was Hogwarts Legacy, because that was the time to be alive. Yeah. March, uh, FIFA 23. March for me was Yakuza 5 Remastered. And mine was Yakuza Like a Dragon. Ooh. April, Yakuza Kuwame. April for me was Yakuza 6, The Song of Life. And April for me was not Yakuza, it was FIFA 23. Uh, back on, back on could, track. Couldn't have got, got a triple <laughs> win there. Uh, May, uh, Yakuza Kuwame 2. May, FIFA 23. <laughs> May, please refer to my previous comment. <laughs> FIFA 23. Uh, June. Yakuza Kwame 2. June Street Fighter 6. Oh. And you guessed it, everyone. It's FIFA 23 again. <laughs> uh, well, July. FIFA 23. July. FIFA 23. July. Fellas. Is it Yakuza. Fellas? No, it's FIFA 23. Hey. Hey, we got a triple. August. FIFA 23. <laughs> <laughs> uh, August for me was Judgment. Oh, uh, for me it was FIFA 23 <laughs> again. Ah, uh, it's broke it up. <laughs> September, Mortal Kombat 11. Ooh. September, Judgment. <laughs> September, FIFA 23. <laughs> now October, I think we might have all the same one here. Yeah. Marvel Spider-Man 2. Uh, Skyrim. No, I'm just kidding. Marvel's Spider-Man 2. <laughs> EA Sports FC 24. Oh, you let down. I didn't let us <laughs> down. It's because I only played Spider-Man 2 for 16 hours. I smashed through the story and moved on. That's true. Uh, November, EA Sports FC 24. November for me was Call of Duty. EA Sports FC 24. And by December was Escape Academy. Oh. Interesting. Bit different. By December became Fortnite. And mine was... EA Sports FC 24, I guess. it was. <laughs> so what we learnt there is that... Well, nothing really, did we? That we learnt is that Nathan likes one type of game. <laughs> I don't even like it. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> I just drag myself. Okay, so we get to total number of hours played. My total number of hours played was 558. Go on, Matt, do you want to do the yeah, others? I feel like Nathan might have more than me. Uh, for my year, I clocked in 1,007 hours. Jesus. Do you know what? I thought I had this one in the bag. 898 I had. And that was with three weeks away from the country as well. <laughs> I made up that time. So I spent 75.9% of game time playing 34 games on my PS5. Hmm. I spent 71.7% of my game time playing... 34 games on my PlayStation 5. And I spent 97.44% of my game time playing 30 games on my PS5. No love for the PS4 anymore. <laughs> it's dead now. It's, dead. it's gone. So I had 24.9... No, that's wrong. 24.91% on 26 PS4 games. I had 28.3% on 34 PS4 games, so I was quite equally split <laughs> between games. And I had 2.56% on seven PS4 games. 
I spent 0.36% of game time playing two games on PSVR. But I assume that's only costing the first PSVR. I imagine so, yeah. Not Otherwise, two. I'd have oh, seen the know. VR2 on there. Yeah. Okay. I didn't see that at all. <laughs> VR's dead to me. So you've got nothing, I presume? No, nothing on VR. So what's your favourite sense? For me, it's the black one. Mine is the um, like the light blue one. Well, mine's changed since I last looked at this. <laughs> Because <laughs> when I d- originally did this, it was the purple one, and now it's changed to the cosmic red one. <laughs> so, right. it to the I post. guess they're pretty close. Yeah. 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 Oh, right. Now we get to the fun stuff. The trophies. How many trophies did we earn? I earned four hundred and twenty-two. I earned two hundred and eighty-five. I earned five hundred. I thought you'd win that one. <laughs> so bronze, I got two hundred and sixty-eight. I got 200. I got 410. Uh, Silvers, I got 75. I got 50. I got 62. Uh, Gold, I got 73. Hmm. I got 33. I got 25. Platinums, then. I got 6. I got 14. 14 Platinums? No, I'm only joking. I got (laughs) 2. I got you, do three. Th- you do that every year. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I want it to be true, Mark. <laughs> I I thought, in, 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 in thought you do like my name is Mayo. Continue. <laughs> you just went through this. <laughs> oh, maybe it has to do. Now that. on uh, my is my name is Mayo twenty five. <laughs> Sorry, how many you got, Matt? I just got the three platinums. Three. The thing is, he doesn't tell you what your platinums are. No, I think I can no. remember mine though. I can't. Uh, so mine was. Very first one, which was Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, I said I remember mine. Now I can't remember the middle one. Oh, which one is it? Oh, no, sorry. No, no, I've got it. It's uh, Untitled Goose game. Of course. And then Marvel Spider Man 2 was my last one. I know Spider Man's one of them, but I cannot for the life of remember the other five. To be fair, I thought. I actually missed out on the Horizon one because I remember I got it before they officially released the last year's wrap up, but for whatever reason it decided not to count. <laughs> I was like, "You people!" I know what my two were. Uh, mine were was the Last Days of Lazarus and Route ninety six. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting games, though. It's a pleasant. How many uh, how many levels did we all go up this year? I'll, I'll be honest, I never really paid attention to any of that, so I don't even know what even oh. that means. But apparently, I went up thirteen levels. Oh, impressive! I only went up the eleven. I went up sixteen. Well done. Oh, oh. I've got further to go, so that makes more sense. Oh yeah. <laughs> to, to be fair, I think Mark might be on a higher level than either of us, because <laughs> my level's at three hundred twenty-five. Uh-huh. I don't understand any of it. Social status. This this is completely like not my reality. I know what's this, coming. Yeah. My social status is party animal. Yeah, seems legit. Yeah. <laughs> I partied it with 106 parties this year, pal. <laughs> I'm also party animal and I uh, have 59 parties this year. Oh, you, you party with your brother, don't you, quite a bit? So maybe that's where. Yeah. Well, I can. Uh, my style is squad hero. Oh, of course, of course, squad hero. Yeah. Yep. I bet you I'm the hero one, of the squad. So. <laughs> uh, I put in 154 hours with my squad. Your squad. Don't know what I mean, to be honest. The whole time I played with you guys, maybe I don't know. <laughs> so I don't remember being in anyone else's squad or party or anything. Like All right, shall we finish off with these PlayStation Stars things then? Yeah, go on then. So I don't know what any of these were. But apparently I earned eight digital collectibles and earned 9,359 points. Wow. Don't ask me. I don't don't understand it. Uh, Well, I earned 13 digital collectibles and I only earned 812 points. But doesn't that go on the money that you spent? I don't know. I don't understand what it is. This might be a bit telling. (laughs) So I earned uh, 14 digital collectibles and earned... 9,637 points. What have you been buying? Well, remember, I'm, I'm, I'm the digital guy, <laughs> aren't I? So. 
Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you probably spent about 900 quid on games. It's a bit dying to think about. <laughs> <laughs> what and, the back, and the backlog grows ever longer. Yeah. Do you think I bought digital this year? Um, what well, didn't I'm you sure buy digital gone, is the... <laughs> no, I've, I've gone physical quite a little bit more recently. Well, so. you got you got EA Sports and Spider-Man, so there's probably about £110 there. Anyway, what kind of collectibles did you get, Mark? I got one common, four mm. uncommon, one rare, no mythic, no legendary, and two heroic. I don't know what any of that means. But... <laughs> mm. I, I got one common, seven uncommon, two rare, no mythic, no legendary, three heroic. Well, pretty close. I got one common, seven uncommon, three rare, no mythic, no legendary, and three heroic. So what we've learned here is none of us are mythic or legendary. No. But also, oh, heroic. Did you, um, have you got the collectible that you can get at the end of the wrap-up? Yes. I told you you get to end one. What's yours, Mark? Uh, Marvel Spider-Man Spider-Bolt. Oh, that's mine as well. And it's also mine. Oh, how nice. Oh, that is a legend. We, we all got a legendary. Also, oh, we didn't get a legendary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's about the end of the wrap ups, isn't it? All right, that's the end of the wrap up. That's a wrap. Hey. Shall we finish? Uh, games won. <laughs> Gaming won. Yes. Shall we finish with the spirit of Christmas given to us by Valve? Oh. So, Valve truly entered the Christmas spirit in Dota 2 with their recent Festivus event. Uh, so players were given an in-game present to open, containing Frostivus cosmetics and other goodies, if you were on the nice list. However, any player who had been found to have cheated, and therefore on the naughty list, opened their present to find a very toxic lump of coal with the message, your Dota account has been permanently banned for smurfing or other violations of the Steam Terms of Service. Oh! <laughs> so uh, there's a guy, a, a streamer called Mason, who was actually streaming this at the time and he unboxed the present uh, and then he got slapped with a ban on the stream <laughs> and you can go watch it and it's rather funny uh, quite amusing watching the cheat get their comeuppance but what better gift to games this Christmas than the destruction of cheaters something I think we could all get behind <laughs> it's quite a uh, creative way of banning someone <laughs> it is isn't it has there been a more creative way of banning the cheaters that you can Not think that of I've heard no no I mean, I, I like some of the stuff that uh, Paul Dewey does with the, the ricochet and he cheat. I've heard oh, some, yeah. of, some of the stuff like in Warzone, like um, the bullets don't do as much damage or um, human players that aren't cheating appear invisible to the cheater. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. And so they're wondering where they're getting shot from or like they can't, they end up like dropping their gun randomly and can't pick it up or something. Um, I know the recent thing they've done at the moment is uh, if you drop from any sort of height, it sort of acts as though you just dropped from like a hundred foot and you just immediately die. So if you just do like one jump, you like you just get killed. You do eventually get banned. This isn't just like they allow the cheaters just to continue. <laughs> and it's just a bit of a player by with them for like a game. Then like, all right, off you pop. <laughs> I'm just looking at the Reddit forum for this. He played it for 13 years. Oh my neck. Well. Says a boy. One person said, <clears throat> I'll need to kind of curb the language a bit. Not sure how I feel about the severity of this ban, but I'm wondering how colossally effing stupid you need to be to risk your main source of income on a behaviour score boost. Not, not wrong. Oh no, we're losing people who we've probably already got money off already. So <laughs> it's not going to be a massive dint, is it? No, I doubt it. Plus, it makes it better for everybody else. Well, this is the thing. And with that, I think it's time to say our goodbyes. Thank you very much, chaps. Uh, if you enjoyed listening to us, we'll be back in three weeks, I want to say, following Christmas and New Year. Just yep. because we're going to yep. get drunk and party, enjoy all the food. Yeah, because <laughs> you are the party animal, Mark. So. Exactly. We've established I'm the party animals. That's it. Yeah. You can visit our website at jokingdolphin.com. Follow us on all social media platforms. You can find Joking Dolphin on YouTube and Facebook, as well as on Instagram and Twitter at Joking Dolphin. Until next time, thanks for listening. Happy Christmas. 
and a Merry New Year. Merry New Year, everyone. Have a nice Christmas and New Year.